Okay. You want me to hold it for you? If you would like. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. You need a big hand for that one. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's always a pleasure to be able to get before the crew and talk to you all before our parade. Uh, I do have some things I'm going to say at the very end of, the, of this uh, press conference, but I just want to welcome everybody here, all the new members for joining, for all the old members for being with us there. Some of you all have been here with us for 29 years, and it's been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Uh, by far, I think Harry and I have created probably the prettiest, along with Derek, the prettiest parade in all of Mardi Gras. We are the most... We are the most inclusive parade. We are welcome to all, we welcome all men and women of good character. That's all we ask. Uh, that was the first thing Harry told me when he said, Sonny, let's start a parade. And then I asked him, what were you smoking? But anyway, <laughs> uh, we, we, we want to have a good time, but we want to make sure that we do it right. And we'll talk about that afterwards. So let me introduce to you, first of all, our founder, Harry Conning, Jr. How y'all doing today? Everybody ready for a ride? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like the last two years just were like a blip in time, right? It feels so strange and uh, all of a sudden we're back again. I thank God that, that we're all here. Like Sonny said, I remember the day uh, 29 years ago, it was a Monday morning because I was fortunate enough to be the king of Bacchus uh, that year and then the next morning I said, Dad, I'd like to start a parade that's inclusive of everyone. We come from a city that has all types of people, black, white, men, women, gay, straight, all religions, whatever. So why can't we have a parade to celebrate those people together? Not in a dynamic of people riding on the floats and other people in marching bands, but to have a parade that's really celebratory of us as a community, because I saw, as much as I respect all of the other crews, there was nothing that was that inclusive. There was nothing existed. So my dad says, you need to call Sonny, because Sonny was my drama teacher at Jesuit. And I'm like, if anybody knows how to put on, as Sonny calls it, musical theater on wheels, it's Sonny Bory. And here we are 29 years later with this incredible parade of which I am so proud in the most beautiful city in the world. And I just feel so blessed to be able to share this experience with y'all. Uh, it's, it's just an honor for me and, and um, I'm thrilled about it. And, and I, I look at these incredible faces out here and we really do have the best crew in all of Mardi Gras. So give yourselves a round of applause. Um, who would you like me to, would you like me to introduce anyone or you can? Hey, Bob, I didn't see you back there. So thank y'all and have a great, safe ride tonight. Hello, everybody. My name is Bob Pavlovich. For over 20 years, it has been my pleasure to host the Orphe Escapade here in the Convention Center and to see all of your faces with anticipation on it, all the beautiful costumes and floats that are in there, all the artists have come together to make this beautiful event on this Lundi Gras 2022. Let me introduce some of our celebrity monarchs for tonight. Singer, songwriter, and star. You know her from her work on The X Factor, The Masked Singer, and from her work as lead vocalist for The Pussycat Dolls, many other things. Please welcome Grammy and Olivier Award winner, Nicole Scherzinger. I didn't know I'd have to speak. Hello, how y'all doing? Oh my gosh, I'm so just honored to be here. Thank you so much, Harry, for asking me. I, I grew up actually in Louisville, Kentucky, so I grew up coming with my family quite often to the New Orleans Jazz Festival. So it just feels so good. God is so good that everything's opening up and that we can all be here together. And like Harry said, just uh, celebrate um, you know, the div diversity of this city. And it's all about, I love, I'm so proud to be a part of this crew because of the inclusivity as well so yeah and anything that's like colorful and sparkling glitter i just feel right at home <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna turn up tonight with all of you for sure and um happy fat tuesday on tuesday y'all let's celebrate god bless <laughs> 
Thank you, Nicole. Our next celebrity monarch, a monarch has had an extensive career in the squared circle as well as a commentator on life and politics. He's funny, he's outspoken, and he's a resident of Mandeville, Louisiana. Ladies and gentlemen, our celebrity monarch, Tyrus. For those of you in the first row, you saw those pieces were broke before I put them in the... So, so that, that wasn't me. I know I'm a bull in the china shop, but that, that wasn't me. You saw, right? The little, the little piece wasn't me. I mean, I was just trying to help when he asked me to hold it. I, I forgot big hands. I don't, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. But uh, wow, you guys are colorful. Like, I, I never got a chance to be in the Wizard of Oz, but this... So if we could all start singing the Lollipop Gang right now, it would be really phenomenal. I don't know what character I would be. I'd probably be the lion, but, and he wasn't in that part. But you guys look phenomenal. I'm so excited to be here. And um, I've never actually been on anything with the word float before. So I'm extremely excited about that. And hopefully mine isn't slower than everybody else's. And uh, thank you so much, Mr. Connick, for letting me have and everyone for inviting me here. I was, uh, when they called me up, I was like, you got the right guy? And uh, <laughs> Renee, who, who was the contact person that called me, um, she said, hey, we're going to fly you into New Orleans. And there's going to be a band. They're going to pick you up at the airport. They're going to drive you to a nice hotel. I said, I live in Mandeville. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't even skip a beat. She's like, oh, well, then we'll just pick you up then. And then. <laughs> So, uh, which means that y'all can handle anything, and uh, no one knows better than that. And speaking of melting pot, again, pound for pound, I'm probably the biggest melting pot in the world. So, uh, I'm excited to be here. I, I can't wait to join this with y'all. We'll have a good time, and thank you so much for letting me in your hearts. Thank you. Our next celebrity monarch is a film and television veteran. You may recognize him from his role as Santiago Jones, and the Sarah Jane Adventures, or his work as Sir Loris Tyrrell, the Knight of the Flower of the Game of Thrones. Please welcome our celebrity monarch, Finn Jones. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Wow, you guys look so amazing. This is incredible. Um, so this is my first time in Mardi Gras. Um, I've been out on the streets, kind of partying with all you guys since Friday now, and it's just, such an incredible tradition like just seeing the freedom and the joy in everyone's faces and and just how unified everyone is after two years of just being stuck at home and not being able to gather like this to do this now it just feels really special so i'm really grateful to be here i'm so honored to be here thank you and i can't wait to ride in the parade and throw out beads and celebrate with all of you so thank you <laughs> And one more time, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring up the captain of the crew of Orpheus, Sonny Bory. Okay, we have do's and don'ts. I don't want you to feel like you're in school, okay? Uh, but there are certain things that, that we... The way you act, the way you act on that float represents Orpheus, all right? If people see you misbehaving on the float, they're going to say, everyone in Orpheus misbehaves, all right? Uh, especially you, Curtis. Anyway, um, anyway, one of the one of the major things that, that I w want to tell you is that I, we are not a political organization. All right. So I ask you to keep your politics to yourself. All right. Uh, we are here to have fun. We're not here to convert anybody to your way of thinking or whatever. We're we're here to just enjoy ourselves and have the people of New Orleans think, wow, what a wonderful, fabulous crew, and how much enjoyment that you all are giving to them. Because let me tell you what, these little kids stand out there, and you think that you're giving them the moon when they, when they catch the trinkets and the things you throw to them. That's what we want to portray. We want to portray joy and happiness, and I ask you to do that for us up here. Okay? Uh, we have over here some champagne we're getting ready to pass out. Can we, can we do that now, please? We need some up here. You can't do anything in New Orleans without a toast. 
the there uh, there's a tray uh, is the tray on both sides or just one side all right if you don't get a glass of champagne i promise you i'll give you one tonight when you get back okay <laughs> Everybody up here get something? Did you? Have you had? <laughs> Good morning, Howard. What do you bring to the Drinks are on him. All right. To a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful ride. To a safe ride. One that we enjoy one that we behave, and one that we are very, very safe on and don't do anything that anyone gets hurt. I wish you all the very, very, very best of time. When we leave here after this toast, we leave to go to the floats to go to the beginning of the parade. Hail Orpheus! Thank you, gentlemen, ladies. Buddy?